Now, the fun-filled fanfare that's been amusing families for more than three generations. Back in the 70s and 80s, it seemed everyone in Perth went to Dirty Dick's. When the Wembley Theatre restaurant closed its doors, the festivi festivities and feasting moved across the country. Graham Butler reports it's coming back home. I say, dine and drink and laugh and play, a dirty dick's to break up day. It was bawdy, raucous, medieval mayhem, and it took Perth by storm. You never knew what was going to happen next. An old English feast and a live stage show rolled up in one. And Perth hadn't really seen anything quite like it before. They called it Dirty Dicks, and the name said it all. Created more than 40 years ago by Perth stage and television pioneers Coralie Condon and Frank Baden-Powell, Dirty Dicks was a theatre restaurant that served up as much bawdy humour as it did roast beef and ale. It opened in Cambridge Street, Wembley, and became an instant hit with its kings, queens, court jesters, buxom wenches and rollicking good fun. Ian Thornton and David Grew were young fellas back then, working as Dirty Dick's minstrels. Three old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Friday to Saturday. Nobody knew they were there. That'll do us. Can't do anything more than that. Pretty amazing to think that for 20 years, one show filled a venue six nights a week. Dirty Dick's closed its doors and moved to Sydney almost 20 years ago. But now, event promoter Tom Tapping is bringing it back home to WA, convinced local fans still want more. It's either I went X amount of times or I had my hens party or my bucks night or my 21st there. Dirty Dicks returns as a touring show, but if there's a hearty appetite, Dirty Dicks could come home for good. If the market's there, then certainly we'd have a, a serious look at it. Many a mile to go that night before he reached the town hall. That'll do it.